not about me. It's about them. My job is to make them look the best they can look the most professional, the most credible, the most relaxed. And I have to be conscious of that the entire time and try to read body language, uh, verbal cues that maybe something's a little awry or they get stuck and they can't think of an answer and you see that deer in the headlights mm -hmm, glare. Mm -hmm. And my job is to help them get through that moment. And that's making the, le the guest look good. Um, to not act like you know all the answers, again, even if you already do, and if you're a good host, you know a lot of the answers mm -hmm. because you've researched your material and you've read up on it. So you know the information, but you ask it as if a viewer would, as if you don't know the answer. I think that's real important. Again, that makes them look like the expert in that area. You brought up research. What type of research do you do? How long do you research the average show? Okay, for a, um, a half an hour show, mm -hmm. uh, generally about two hours. How do you, I'm, I'm going for a certain answer here. Okay. Uh, do you tell them, uh, I'm going to ask you this question, what is the answer? Or do you just say, uh, is this a good question to ask? Or how do you do that? Well, um, I again, I, in, in maybe talking before the show, I would say, you know, I, I think I'm going to, I'm probably going to work in a question about whatever mm -hmm. uh, you know are you good with that but don't tell me the answer right now this is amazing because well when you, all right when we were mm -hmm. we didn't <laughs> talking know, about this when show. we were talking about the show I ca talked to you in person yeah. and I said all right is this a good question is this now don't tell me the answer don't tell the answer and you said yes I know why and it's because you won't be spontaneous yes and, and it truly is it I will. want to be authentic in this show because so I want to be surprised and because again uh, the guest if they're not used to TV and whatever if you say I'm going to ask you this question then they write out their mm -hmm. answer mm -hmm. or they memorize it in their mm -hmm. head and then they don't come off that good actually they they sound like they are reading a rehearsed yes. answer and it's very scripted so they don't look as good as if you threw the question out there and then they're spontaneous about it and they even have body language or gestures or whatever because they're talking to you as if, like this, as if they're in the, your living like, room. Yes. Like, what are your favorite questions to ask? Ooh, um, I like to ask people maybe why they got into whatever they're into mm -hmm. because they just they come alive and their eyes start shining and you can see that they have a passion for what they're doing. Again, yes. whether they're an entertainer mm -hmm. or whether they're in a, um, a serious profession, but the, you can almost see their body just lift up and, well, I love this business because. And Sandy Thompson, why did you get into the area that you're into? Oh, see, now you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> Elizabeth, I think, now I don't know about you, but I knew it when I was this big. Three I think years old. Three years me. old. I think I was probably five years old. Mm -hmm. And I used to play TV. And I'd make my dad, I'd ask my dad to bring, to go to the appliance store and bring me home one of the big cardboard boxes that like stoves and things used to come in. And then I would draw a TV, you know, TV dials on it. That mm -hmm, was before mm -hmm. remote control. Yes. I'm dating myself. Yes. Um, and I cut out a big screen and the back of it, the back of the box, and then I push that box up against the wall and I would climb inside and sit on a little stool like this. And then I would be talking through that opening as if I were on TV. And I would talk to the people. I would, uh, I would uh, do the news, which meant reading the paper sure. on the, in the box. Um, I did the weather, which of course was my favorite thing, by tearing the maps out of uh, Rand McNally atlases and taping them on the wall behind me. And then I'd say, in California, they've got a lot of sunshine right now, and that heat wave is going to be moving to the east. So I practiced that when I was a little kid. All my friends were playing Barbie dolls or whatever, but I, I just played TV or journalism. It's living your dream. It's living your passion. Yes. What do you still want to do? Oh, that's the question I'll ask people often at the end. Okay. I want to just keep doing this in some way or form. I, I, it gets in your blood. Yes, it does. 